Hello. In that tutorial, I want to show you how to create an image using AI image generators with writing on it. For example, film poster. In fact, it's really easy. All you need to do is just open your image generator. I will use Dali. You can use Midjourney. You can use Table Diffusion. You can use some other custom model. It totally doesn't matter. And now let's provide prompt. I will ask for much of God Hila Demolution Skyscraper. Writing angry Godzilla on the bottom of image. And let's also add some image enchancers to have better quality of image. Photorealistic 4K, even if our image not gonna be 4K, 100mm lens. In fact, that's all. Now we need to click generate and wait for result. Cool, and we have our Godzilla, the demolition some skyscraper, and we have our writing, the Romala. Sorry, can anyone explain me what the heck is this? Okay, in fact, I'm just kidding. AI image generators, at least at that moment, have a big problem with so-called coherence. That, in my understanding, is not exact realistic generation of the image. For example, when it generates photos of someone with six fingers or seven, and uh, the fingers is like strange. The same issue concerns text generation. In short words, AI generators just have a problem to generate text, at least to generate it in the good way. Sometimes we can meet the AI model's limitations, and that's a moment where the AI development come into the play. AI development is about enhancing AI models with some external tools, also AI based or not, just classical tools. And in that case, we use the Cloudinary platform to add text to our image. Let's see. I build the application using Make Platform. It's a very convenient way for building backend for AI applications. But you can create similar application using LandChain or some other backends for AI. So, let's provide the similar prompt for my application. Photo of Godzilla Demolution Skyscraper. Lens 4K with text on the bottom of Image angry Godzilla opens font solution PX size color white. Let's say bold text to make it better. Let's run our application and let's see. Wow, and voila, that application saved generated photo in my Dropbox, and that's probably this file. And wow. We have some, let's say, Godzilla, the demolition, some skyscraper, with complete readable writing and Greek Godzilla on it. So how it was done? Application has several straightforward blocks. First of them is GPT-3 and 5 block, purpose of which is dividing our input prompt to two different prompts. One is for image generation and another for text on the image generation. You can pause the video and read that prompt thoroughly if you want, but in fact it's all about uh, just generating JSON object with image prompt and text prompt from our input prompt. And we can see here uh, it generates JSON with two prompts. Image prompt is create an image of Godzilla demolition as skyscraper using 4mm lens and in 4K resolution. And text prompt is add bold white text at the bottom of the image saying NG Godzilla in Poppins font with the size of 70 pixels. Wow. Cool. Let's go next. Here we parse in JSON and, and in that block we're using DALI for generate our image using image prompt generated earlier. Next, that generated image is uploaded to Cloudinary, and here the magic happens. To add text by Cloudinary, we need to specify a special instruction for that. You can see the instruction for Cloudinary looks something like that. Text, we specify font, uh, size, style, the content, placing of the text, and color of the text here. 
And there is uh, my prompt that, in fact, needs to generate instruction from the text prompt it got earlier. You can also stop video and read that prompt carefully if you want, but it just generate an instruction from the text prompt here. Next, that instruction go into the Cloudinary, which add in text to our image, and that image with text is saved to my Dropbox. Cool. Here you have some other generated uh, images earlier, some other angry Godzillas, or some cats, or some helicopter. Let's generate something new. For example, I want to generate the painting of cute husky dog catching frisbee with writing my lovely dog uh, on the top part of image match with margin from top 50 pixels bold green color 50 pixel bold green color okay cool let's try to generate that image now cool and we have our dog my lovely dog okay there's some dog maybe i chose not the best color of text but you get the point, it's working. Also, we can try to generate image without specifying any concrete image size. We can just write big or small or something like that, text, and that's all. And let's see what will happen. Let's also change the color. And we have it. We have our uh, a little bit strange dog that trying to catch frisbee strange way. But point is, the writing on the image is not uh, strange. This is the magic of the AI development. But that's all, guys. Big like for you for watching and interest in AI technologies. See you next time. Bye.